All right, this is gonna be a tutorial for Scruff Puppy's song I haven't gotten around to telling you. Um, a quick shortened version is gonna sound something like this here. So yeah, uh, if you wanna learn it, the first step is that you're gonna to need to take your guitar from standard tuning down a full step below. So that's gonna be D, G, C, F, E, D, uh, starting at the low E string. And uh, the tuning is gonna be a full step below, but I'm still just gonna refer to this in standard tuning like E, A, D, um, just to like avoid confusion and stuff. So yeah, once you get it uh, in that tuning, I'm gonna go over the chords, the strumming, and then how to fit it all together. So yeah. All right, so for the chords in the song, there are four chords in total, and they're going to be split into two different groups. So group one is just going to have chords one and two. Uh, chord one is going to be three, five, zero, zero. And uh, you want to try and avoid these bottom two notes. And what you can do, a little tip here is when you click your, uh, not click, press your index finger here, you can actually mute the bottom two strings with your, your little knuckle part right there. At least that's what I do. You can use your pinky or something if it's more comfortable. But uh, yeah, first chord. Three five zero zero, and then the second chord is going to be seven nine zero zero. Um, so yeah, make sure you get those down. Um, and then for the second group, chords three and four, the third chord is going to be five seven zero zero, and then the fourth chord is going to be eight ten zero zero. So make sure you get these down. Um, I'm going to go over the strumming next and uh, how these all fit together in that uh, little section. All right, so for the strumming, I'll have a diagram right there probably. Um, it's gonna be three downs, so. Then you're gonna have five down ups. On that first down up, you're gonna have a chord change, and on that last down up, you're gonna have a chord change. So remember how I talked about those two groups of chords, chords one, or sorry, group one, which is chords one and two, and group two, which is chords three and four. Basically, chords one and two are always gonna be played together, and chords three and four are always gonna be played together. So let's say we're doing the first group of chords for the strum pattern. You're gonna go three, five, zero, zero, and you're gonna transition over to the second chord uh, from the first chord, and then you're gonna go back for that second transition. So slowly, the strum pattern will look like this. I played it through there twice there just so you guys can get it down. Um, so yeah, and you do the same thing for the third and fourth chord. You just use the third and fourth chords um, So yeah, now that we got the strum pattern down I was trying to think of a way to put this song together So you, I didn't have to just play through the entire thing and you guys copy me And I think I got something that's actually like semi-cohesive and will help save us a lot of time here um, Basically, I made this little diagram up here and what this diagram is is basically I just took the group one chords, chords one and two, group two chords, which is three and four. And I just renamed those to A and B. So you see A is gonna be uh, chords one and two, and B is gonna be chords three and four. Now, uh, for this group, you're gonna go through the strum pattern four times uh, for each of them. So I'm gonna go through chords A, or sorry, group A, on a normal speed um, for four strum patterns. And this is what it's gonna look like. All right, so those four strum patterns and uh, group B would be the same, but which is the third and fourth chords. Now, the reason I have this diagram up here is because then it makes mapping the rest of the song super easy for us. And we could do it just like right there or somewhere. I don't know where I fit on the screen. Um, but as you can see, the intro is just group A and I just played that for you guys. So you already know how to play it. It's just chords one and two for four strum patterns long. All right, so you can see on the verse, we're gonna have a transition from group A to group B. Basically, what this is gonna look like is um, once you go through the four strum patterns on group A, right, you're gonna end up on the, the second chord, seven, nine, zero, zero. And instead of just normally going back to three, five, like you would for group A, you're just gonna transition to the third chord to start group B. And then you could do transition to eight, 10 for you know four strum patterns long. And then you repeat that once more uh, from that 2x there. All right, I'm gonna re-record this part because I did not do it too well. So basically, you can see that the conclusion of the song is basically the same as the verse. 
And the conclusion is just the part where Scruff Puppy, uh, they like play the guitar, but they're just not singing. Um, and within this dis uh, not discussion, the conclusion, uh, they use a special like transition. It, um, when you're transitioning from that first AB to that second AB, they actually use the second chord um, to, you know, like break it up a little bit. And in, yeah, actually, I'll just play it like slow and then you'll, you'll guys get what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to do one uh, strum section for B and then one strum section, no, then I'll go to, go to A, you know, so. All right, so you see that when I was at 810, normally you just go straight to 85, but um, to do that little transition, you are at 810 and after three down ups, you go to the second chord, uh, nine seven, or seven nine, sorry, uh, two more down ups, and that'll complete the five down ups that you need. And then you just restart that second A B section with your down down down, and you know you finish the song. So yeah, I hope that made sense. Um, I hope that diagram made sense too, because otherwise that'd be a really shitty tutorial. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope it went well, and uh, take it easy.